Right, guys. Uh, I've been popping all day. As you know, we're, we're having a, uh, an extension on the back for our old age. <laughs> right, that's me. How oh, concerned. Leak like a sieve up the top there. Oh, sorry. Yes, guys, as I was saying, it costs so much money to have the roof replaced, what they want had. And uh, the doors are dropped. So we decided to go spend every penny we got and have it all done. Right, this is what I've been doing. I have been doing bits and pieces. The cauliflowers. All having an actually good day. It's very warm, very, very, very warm. Right, I'm now going to do garlic. I thought, sod it, I'll get some. This is all my own. My own. And I'm going to break it out. Break it out. Sorry, guys, I've got some elephant garlic. I'm going to do it now. And my wife is more interested in the real garlic, <laughs> if, you can, if you can understand right. Uh, I've got some calabrese there. They're now starting to pick up after putting on. These are the onions I've done. I'm hopefully. Old seeds, we'll see what happens. Two tomatoes left. Uh, I've now got, got to be really good and chat the old girl up because my camera arrived today, my new camera, for my birthday next month. So, yeah, I've got to wait and see. All right, guys, I'll show you when I've done a few. Guys, that last tray here, that's elephant garlic. And they're free, just normal garlic. I think they might even be an as the variety, but they're strong, they're nice, so I've done them again. First time we've been out for a couple of weeks, guys. We've been giving the old dog a rest, and he is so happy to be out. He really is. He's lost quite a bit of weight because he didn't want to eat. He's now started to eat a bit, got a bit more weight on, but he's lost a lot of muscle. But he's, uh, he's happy. Oh girl, she's happy. She's always happy. She'll be even happier when she's in the hospital. Oh, sorry guys, all over the place. It's beautiful over here, but I've been eating blackberries. Right, we get down to the end and then we've got to go back. Morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. That's a lovely day, nice and mild. First time I've been up here for a while because of so much going on, as you know. Since last Friday, it's been a nightmare. Uh, so, I'm going to try and do a bit of strimming first, and then I've got to get a row of spuds up. Uh, I'll straighten the peppers of all. Colouring up. I left, the, I left the door open. Red's over there, yellow's there. Bottle of something rot on the tomatoes. This lot's had it now, so I'm going to possibly tell the wife to take all the tomatoes off, green ones and half red. We'll take them home and ripen them up and then I'll trim that lot out. These ones here are the ones which you're supposed to harvest, take them home green and they ripen up, and which they do, which is good. So I'm gonna try and get cracked on. I'll show you when I've done something, when I start on the spuds again. All right guys, I'm now gonna start on this row here. We just had a fantastic harvest of carrots and I've just looked, took a, a little look at my carrots here, which I put in white light. And just to be quite honest, there man. Look at them. Sorry about this. So, we're now gonna try this. Get this done. See how we go. I'll show you the end results of the harvest. Got some lovely collies. Been having been giving some of the collies away because uh, they'll blow. Look at the heat, it's gone up it, through the roof. Right. Oh, I won't take long to get this lot. When I get my big rotovator on it, I'll just boom. I'm going to rotovate most of the rubbish in. And rotovate and rotovate. If you look at my plot, I've got no mare's tail. Nearly none at all now. And um, I don't know where I'm at. I might have a bit near the sweet corn over there. But uh, to be quite honest, the plot over there is absolutely rife. And what I, somebody told me when I first come up here, or went on YouTube actually, said to me, if you can rotivate it and chop 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 it, it lose the, the energy to regrow. 
and that's what I've been trying to do years and years now and it seems to be working considering the two plots over the other side they're absolutely got loads right I'll show you when I start getting going here we go right guys I suppose I've done nearly half of our potatoes and I've probably got a sack and a half to sack and three quarters look at the size of them they are brilliant they really are good I don't know, a lot of people moaning they've got no good spuds up here this year, but I've had no problems. Second year on a trot. Right guys, that's enough for now. Got some lovely collies. Last a few green beans for uh, I think we've got cottage pie today. Oh so lucky. So many bloody friends up here going mad they are. Talk about wind-ups. That's good to have a lot of friends though. And sad if you're lonely. I'm afraid. My boy he moans that he's lonely at the moment. That's uh, I said to him, I said, just come over, have ours, stay at ours. But then the next minute he say, no, I'm out this weekend with my mates. Don't know what the bloody want. All right, guys, as you can see, there's two of them left still down there. <sighs> Collies, they're going to have to either be taken home and frozen, I'll give them a little bit of a spray, and then garlic and soupy water and stuff but I did notice there were some caterpillars on here and I had a bloody wasp attacking them yeah wasp was attacking them so I don't mind that right guys so I've got so many jars of beetroot at home which is good these carrots look like they're making and I think these could be my red core which Dennis told me to get and that was from Wilkinson's, and now Wilkinson's are blooming close. So we'll have to go online and get some parsnips. As you can see, I've got a parsnip there gone to seed. I, uh, I, well, you're not supposed to dig up parsnips until you start to get frosts out, but I look like I'm going to have to start to dig them up. This. We have just been told that these are pumpkin. I think they're a pumpkin. I know they're pumpkins. Oh, they're a mammal, I think. I don't know, she's just told us. I'm losing my mouth. Look at that lovely sunflower in there. And that was self seeded out of my chicken feed. That's a winter job in there. drilled out dug over I still get the same attitude from somebody coming by but I love it now because I think to myself it's having a go at me it's not having to go at anybody else alright yeah so guys I do waffle on a bit so I'm sorry about that I have managed to get two thirds two thirds of a row That's Glen, New Zealand. Absolutely fantastic. Look, guys, if anybody is thinking what I, what I keep ranting and raving about, it's just a double row. Farmers are doing them now. And what I do is so you put one potato here. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and one potato there, one potato here, as a zigzag, all the way along. And I tell you what, the harvest has been fantastic. It really has, and I've had a lot of big ones. And these are Picasso. And I will order another sack of casting next year. I, I thought about keeping my own seeds, but oh, no, I'm going to order a sack. Oh, I've got to take some empties. <sighs> See, we're not just doing an allotment anymore. Me and my wife were now having my work done on the back. And um, she's decided now to remove all the single and slate from the front garden. You look at here, guys. These are, I don't know, these, I've got some lovely Swedes coming along. I would like to chop them up with carrot and freeze, dice them and freeze them. But uh, we've got no one in the freezers. Until my wife gets time to start to make uh, some soup, some tomato soup and stuff. She's got to worry of waiting, waiting to get into hospital. 
which we're waiting for. Once she's had that done, she'll be a happy bunny, like anybody, you know. I'm not going to beat with that. I have to go along pulling everything. It's get addicted to it. Very quiet up here now. Very quiet. It seems to be that uh, people have just thought to themselves, ah, it's cheaper to buy than to grow and have healthier stuff, which is uh, more beneficial, that's like beetroot. They all moan, don't eat beetroot, bloody beetroot, it's lovely. So as a cancer fighter, it's all. Really do help you. Right, hang on, Maggie's now calling up. See you later, Maggie. Bye. She's a gem, she is. Oh, Maggie. She's a gem. But, there's another one who's, uh, been having a hard time. Oh yes, and look at these. These were supposed to be autumn. <laughs> Bone dry, uh, autumn. Autumn raspberries. Bone dry. So that one didn't work. And I know Terry, I've got to cut them down, you told me. Which I've got to do, but I've got to go to B&Q today now. <sighs> I need a pet. I've got my loppers here. Need to lock them so they're left in the ground. They'll all be starting to have bonfires up in October. Once the spuds are up, I'll probably build a bonfire over there. Right guys, I'm gonna say bye. Uh, this will probably go up tonight, oh boy, I ain't got a dirty face and going and being cute. Yeah, stay safe everybody. Don't forget, be happy and watch the news. <sighs> ah. Yes, yes, Terry. Is John there? Right. Yes, look, oh, I'm putting my thorns. And I, I think that's a fig, but I don't know whether a fig have flowers like that. Oh, I can't cop it over me. So, yeah, look, look at the leaves, guys. Hmm, could be a fig. That's a strange fig though. Unless these are the seed heads. Alright guys, stay safe all of you. Be happy. Don't watch the news, got to drive everybody by me. Hmm, strange TV at the moment, strange TV. Bye.